Okay, my project is kind of a continuation of my project from JS1. Um, in JS1, I did JS Technician Job Employments in a Whole United States. And I kind of broke them up in percentages of each state. This time, I tried to do it just in the state of Illinois. Um, like I said, I where are the jobs? And I also did the school districts in the state of Illinois and what junior college school districts offer GIS classes, certificates, or degrees. And I went to the Bureau of Labor and got information on industrial and occupational classification for GIS technicians. It's in two different things. Um, who would use this? I mean, I use ArcGIS Naval Study that has not yet been undertaken, and these maps can provide the starting point to a new job. Who could use this information? Just about anybody. Students, employers, college employer agencies, Department of Labor, IDS, and Illinois GIS Association. That's like the Esri of Illinois. Types of analysts I use. I uh, join different tabular data to a GIS data. Um, my data was created and stored in the geodatabase which we had to do from scratch. My data was edited and created for attributes and features. Created and calculated new data fields, symbology of data with a graduate color scheme, and a quantile classification of the data. Some of the data sources I used, um, Career, Info Nation, Career Info Net is where I got all the GIS jobs. Um, Department Security, IDS, is where I got the different percentages of industrial and occupational jobs. And also the community school districts and what school had what degree. I went to ISCS for my county map of Illinois and then Census Tiger for my school districts. Uh, the different types of data I used, the county and school districts are shape files. Community colleges, I use them as a point file. My different geometry types were polygon and points. And uh, these are just different coordinates. North America 1983 datum. And my, uh, I used Excel type, or uh, I typed everything on an Excel spreadsheet and then joined it to my uh, arc map. These are all different attributes I used. The county names. The maps I did, I did a state employment, total employment of the state of Illinois, the average weekly wage of each state and county, counties in the state. And then the industry jobs, which the GIS technician falls under, I did a 2006 and then a projected for 2016. And the same with the occupational. And then I did the annual compound growth rate. My first map there, you can see the dots Interesting. <laughs> well, the dots there, you can see I used the green dots here are just uh, junior colleges. Are the junior colleges. The blue dots, they offer a certificate class for GIS. There's only one junior college in the state of Illinois that has a GIS uh, associate degree. And then the black one just have a GIS class. And I also did it, the average weekly wage. <laughs> so, of course, Cook County is the highest day average between 1000 and 1200 a week compared to the bright yellow, which is only 400 bucks a week. But I wanted to see if a school that was in a college or in the county, if the wages would be higher. That's what my whole point of this project was. And the other side is just total employment for each county. Like Cook County has over 2 million employed. Now these maps, they're actually exactly the same, but they're different figures I used. This one here is the uh, industrial classification. It's, it, our GIS addition falls under architectural and engineering jobs. And uh, 
that's 2006 right now and what they projected it in 2016. This one's occupational, which GIS technician falls under surveying and map technician. See they're a little different, a little darker, projected higher. This is the compound growth rate. You can see that by bras, it's right pretty much in the middle of the state. But usually by the bigger the towns, the higher the jobs. Peoria, St. Louis area. The occupational jobs I had a problem is because a lot of the counties don't um, calculate that one. This one didn't really come up too clear. It, it's good in my PDF, but my it didn't transfer good. These are the different junior college school districts. And like I said, the purple is certificates. The green is classes, and then that rose color one is a degree. And in this one, I laid it over a county map. This one here, I tried to two. This one has a lot of different layers on it. And I have uh, the colleges, the college districts, and the occupational jobs for 2006 and 16. And then I also did a, well anyways, oh here you go, here was for industrial jobs. And this is a snapshot of my art catalog that I used. And on the left it shows you my geodatabase. These are just some of the feature classes I added to it. Uh, support 